force of demons who use their powers to seduce and deceive humanity and to fight the purposes of God. And they are primarily involved in the development of false religious systems. They are the purveyors of doctrines of demons. Boy, are they sophisticated. One of the more prominent ones currently is Mormonism, which is making an all out effort to uh, be accepted as a form of Christianity. This is a Christ centered channel. We talk of Christ, we rejoice in Christ, we preach of Christ, and we are not afraid of the hard subjects, but we engage with love. We welcome those who are watching at this time. We hope that you will comment on this video and hit that like button. Please subscribe to this channel and share this video with your friends and family. May we edify and uplift one another. Now let's get this video started. So this gentleman, John MacArthur, he goes about and he starts talking about the world of evil and the uh, and the harm that the world itself has caused to humanity. And he and in the first ten minutes of his video, he's doing pretty good as far as you know keeping it just contained within personal reflection of the Great Plague of uh, the 1900s, early 1900s, uh, flu uh, epidemic, killed over 100 million people. You got wars. You have all these things that are tearing the world apart. And then he talks about moral, uh, 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 the moral fiber of the country or the the world and how we are uh, consumed by no other words for it, sex, drugs, and alcohol and drugs. So then he starts attacking the church. I'm like, what? And calling us the demons of the earth. So I figured I'd make a video and see if if I can help people out understand that this guy's a liar. Straight up liar. If he's that knowledgeable about the world and and the events of the world that have caused great calamity and the immoral judgments of others, then how could he get so many things are wrong about the Church of Jesus Christ? So let's hear him some more. You need to understand this. Nothing is more explicitly pagan than Mormonism. It is more like Hinduism than it is like Christianity. Christianity has one God. The Mormons have millions. Liar, straight up liar. Again, if he knows about all these different religions, he should know that the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints only has one God, and that's the Father who we worship. And we have one Savior who is Jesus Christ. In our theology we use the name or the word God as a title for that which has dominion that which is worship that which is um, uh, a creator could be a very could be a multiplicity of things that we can call gods but just because we call them gods does not make them the God that we worship. We just acknowledge their existence. Just like Paul would say that there are gods many, but there's only one 
God, and that's the Father. There are Lords many, but there's only one Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Even within the text of the Bible, including Psalms 82, including John chapter 10, it talks about a multiplicity of gods. It says Jesus Christ was being demonized for calling himself the Son of God, which he was crucified for, because they said there was only one God, but he's saying he's the Son, therefore making it two. He says, is it not written in your law that I said, ye are gods? What he's saying is, if you are a judge, you have dominion over the and effect over the lives of those who you judge. Therefore, you will be considered a god in the definition that is applied. So again, this guy seems to be well educated, but he is straight up lying about our message and who our God is. Again, we only have one God, and that's the Father. Not, not that we don't recognize others and their potential or their attributes. Even Moses himself was called a God over, over Pharaoh. So again, why would this lie? Why would this man lie? Because he gets paid to lie. Because if he doesn't dismiss the Church of Jesus Christ, which has the most powerful message out there about a prophet of God who restored the church that was once established by Jesus Christ with its fullest potential, including having apostles. Also, the eternal nature of the, the plan of salvation what a beautiful plan. There's none like it. Explains everything about life's difficulties. They have no, they have no vision of an eternal plan. God created. He presented a tree in the uh, garden. Adam and Eve partook of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and now we all suffer because of that but why all the suffering if God already had the potential to know who would be saved and who would not why go through all that could he not just create Resurrected beings. And why have a resurrection? Why even have mortality? Why? There's no reason. If God is spirit, then why why go any farther than just having other spirits that fill the fill the universe? See, they have no vision of why. We're here on this earth. And so their theology falls short, flat on its face. I explain all the details of why God's, why we are, why God is, and what our potential is. So let's continue on with his lies. That should be enough. 
They believe in millions of gods. They believe they become gods. They believe some god created the god who created the world, and the god who created the world had some kind of spiritual sex with the mother god and produced Jesus. He's talking about a idea that was presented by some apostles. It's not in the canon of scripture. It is talked about. It is only an idea on how spirits come to come into existence. Do I agree with that idea of a mother and father who bring forth through sexual intercourse spirits? Spirit children? No. I do not. So he paints a broad brush on that on for one this is what the church teaches as a doctrine and it's not a doctrine that we teach it is an idea that we teach sometimes but it's not a doctrine and not every member and most members wouldn't even accept the doctrine accept it as an idea which I don't so now he's painting this broad brush that this is how things are in the church of Jesus Christ. Another lie. The, the, the cleverness of this, putting it in a moral context, a superficially moral context, with a kind of commitment to families and giving it the facade of acceptability, morality, only makes it more deadly. We do not wrestle against what? Flesh and blood. Principalities, powers. There's a structure. There's an order in the demonic world. And then, just to add a fourth, there is... Okay. One... Well, I guess he got done with Mormonism. Again, because they have no message... They don't have a real solid foundation on um, where to go when it comes to the most difficult questions that are asked. Why is there pain and suffering? Why would God allow these things to happen? If there's a pre-existence, and I say there is, it answers those questions if there is continued progression in the life to come in our Im immortal state then it answers the question of why we need to suffer these pains without those two elements There is no reason for God's creation of mankind in its mortal state. So I leave it to you to figure it out. So I ask you, is this guy lying about the Church of Jesus Christ? I say he is. So leave a comment, share like, subscribe. And let's ponder the idea of this. What do I have to gain? Absolutely nothing. I wouldn't, I do not do these videos to make money at all. I don't think my channel will ever grow that big. Anyway, but I'm, I'll tell you right now, it'll never, it'll never become monetized. I, if I can't do it on my own, I don't need to um, have, I don't need to make these videos. What's this guy? What? Why is he speaking as he speaks? Because he has an audience and that audience pays for his words and if you're a hireling 
you are speaking not because of God's influence in your life, but it is because of the influence of the greater God in your life, and that's money. So I'll leave it to that. <laughs>